So we've seen a little bit of a retracement on Bitcoin today. Obviously, it doesn't look like much on the daily chart, but it's a little bit bigger on the one hour. But it's still really just potentially a bull flag or something like that, which probably will lead to a further explosion in price. Now, we're going to go into some key levels that you can look for retests. Why? You should not be worried if you see a little retest like this just in an overall bull market, etc., etc. So if that all sounds good, leave a like on the video, subscribe to the channel, and let's get straight into it. So on the daily chart, like I said, we're seeing a small, small pullback here. But look at that wick. That shows that there's been buying pressure all the way from 46.6k back up to 472 and uh, that shows we are still heavily bullish, even though, like I said in yesterday's video, we did hit overbought on the RSI. Now, that being said, you know, there's nothing major going on here. There's nothing to really talk about too much on the daily chart. Like I said before, we do have this major level here between 46 and 44K. This will be a level that we might be able to retest from. So we're we'll waiting for price to come back into there, looking for some kind of confirmation or breakout in the lower time frame, and then moving in from there for a buy trade back up into our 49, 50, 52K level uh, target that we've had. So that's on the daily chart. If you look on the four hour chart, again, it's probably actually easier on the one hour chart. Like I said, there may be some type of bull flag uh, occurring here, and uh, this could lead to a further breakout of price coming up into the target we just mentioned. So that's also something you could potentially take if you are looking to take a trade right now. Personally, I would say uh, it's wise to stay out of trade since we've just pumped so much. However, if you are looking to take a trade, one might be waiting for a further break of structure above 47,900 and then looking for a retest around 47,500. Uh, up into 49 plus K. So that might just be a, a little idea for a short term trade. However, the major trade I am looking at and waiting for is a play back into these levels down here around 44 K. So let's bring up our indicators, our EMAs. So our EMAs, of course, show us uh, whereabouts the average price is based on the daily averages. And we can see here we've got the 200 that has been absolutely blasted through. And we've got the 20 and 50 now looking bullish on the daily. Uh, on the four hour, we are very, very bullish about to touch this 20 EMA, which again is another potential confluence on with why this might break out further as a bullish flag. And then on the one hour, we are testing the 50 EMA. So again, we've got uh, lots of different confluences there. And if we take a look at our SSL channel and our pivot point super trend indicator, um, we do have that really nice uh, pump since the bullish signal. Now, a lot of you guys have been saying in the comments, you want me to just go over this uh, little strategy I came up with. So essentially, it's pretty simple. We just have two indicators here. We have the pivot point super trend indicator. Uh, set at the default settings and these are all free indicators on trading view and uh, we have the SSL channel set at 2020 the default is 1010 I just changed it to a slower 2020 so uh, you can see here every time we get a double buy signal that is when we will buy and uh, same with the sell now personally I would really only be looking for buys just because I'm fundamentally bullish on the market however selling does still work some of the time so what we're waiting for is uh, one of the things to go bullish so for example here you can see we were bullish uh, that was the best example of it here for example we went uh, bullish with the ssl channel over here around uh, the 24th of july and then literally one or two days later we went bullish with the super trend indicator so we place our buy at the end of the, or the close of that and then you can see since then we had a really nice run up in price and again and again we keep seeing this happen and then a vice versa one with the sell we had a nice uh, drop off there for a potential short trade so that's essentially how it works. I mean, if you want me to see a, a deeper video on it, then let me know, but that is just the general premise of it. Anyway, that's Bitcoin. Let's take a look, quick look at Ethereum to finish off as well. We're still having this nice breakout. I do still think we'll be pushing up to at least 3,600 very, very soon. Uh, 3,600 to 3,900 is kind of that next target I'm waiting for. And then after that, we can look whether we're gonna have a retest or a potential move up to $4,000. Let me know what you're doing right now. Are you trading Bitcoin or Ethereum? Are you longing, are you shorting? And if you're not already, then make sure you check the link down in the description. We have a link to Bybit there. That's what we use as a trading platform. And you can get up to $4,100 for free as well as 30% of your trading fees by using that link. So if you are interested, let us know and also uh, you know hit up that link. And if you don't want to take your trading to the next level, we also got the trading course down below as well. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe to the channel for more, and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.